Hey guys, come on in. Deb here with Art and Grace. Happy to have you today on this Monday. I am in Texas. It's a sunny day. It's beautiful here. Let me know where you're watching from and how the weather is there. And yeah, you're going to hear my dog, I'm afraid, because my husband is actually outside on the roof taking down lights. And so she's having a fit. <laughs> and I was like, oh, what am I going to do? But we may just have to hear blue. So you guys say hi to me. Let me know you're watching. We're getting this sprinkled over to the Craft Around the Clock group. If you guys have anywhere you can sprinkle, that would be fantastic and help me get this out there. Um, hi, Patty. You guys say hi. Even if you're a silent watcher, come on in and say hi. I always love to see who's watching live. Then you can go back and be really quiet. But it's really fun to see who's here with us. Hello, Lisa. Hi, Trees. Glad y'all are here. Hi, Tanya. Happy to have y'all. Thank you, Luana, for sprinkling, dear. I appreciate it so, so much. Really does help me a lot because I actually forgot to do the, the back end stuff I usually do about that. So I was so bummed when I, as soon as I hit live, I realized I didn't do it. Hello, Michelle. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Patty. Oh, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Thank you. How are you, Patty? Um, listen, guys. Hi, Leanne. Love saying hi to y'all. It drives me crazy. I know that people get uh, irritated when we say hi to everybody, but it just, I just have to take one minute, just one minute and say hi because you guys are taking your time to be here. Hi, Remar Remarkable Crafts. What a cute name, Regina. Love that. Y'all go give her a follow. You know, anytime you see new businesses that you're not you know familiar with take a look at them and go follow them help them grow you guys it's so helpful to us and we appreciate it so much perfect angela that's what i was hoping hi cheryl i was hoping you guys would pop in here on your lunch breaks hello chris and tarita and deb i don't know if i missed anybody i'm so sorry if i did but i started scrolling on me hi barbara Gosh, let me be sure I try to catch everybody on this front end thing. Hi, Zena. Okay, guys, let's get started. I have this, but if you will, if you have the ability to sprinkle me, like you have a group you can sprinkle me to or something like that, that would be so helpful. Thank you so much. I try not to ask that every time, but it does help, and I did forget. Okay, so here's what I did. I did. I think I did a cardinal first, and then I did this... Um, or maybe I did this first, I did a cardinal on the other side, and then I have sanded off the other side, but I wanted to show y'all one side. And we're gonna paint on this side. That's what you can do, and especially if you want to learn some really easy art, whatever art lessons I'm teaching, you can follow me step by step and put it anywhere. So it can be on glass, on wood, on canvas, on mixed media paper, on metal, you know, on anything, on a notebook, you know. So, hi, Becky. Good to see you. I miss you. Hello, Juanita. And thanks for saying hi to everybody. You guys greet each other, and I love that so much. Thank you, Patty. I appreciate you guys. Watching from the doctor's office, I hope you're okay, Mary. Um, I heard, I think it was Sherry say that you weren't feeling well, and I did not know, and I'm so sorry. Prayers for you, my dear. I hope that you get relief. Um, but anyway, we're going to paint on this, and I'm going to show you a simple, simple design. So please don't think you can't do this. We're going to go with a layer of white first. I'm just going to put down some white. Actually, chalk paint would be great. Um, let's see. I'm going to grab this chalk paint. It's not white, but it's close. We'll put this down first. I should have thought to grab that. Hello, Sally. Chalk paint has a little more tooth. And since I have not pre-prepped this side, listen, when you're painting metal, the best thing you can do, or wood, metal or wood, is put down a, a pre-sealer. So it's not like a regular sealer, but it's something that's going to make your acrylic paint stick and do really well. Thank you. Hi, Tracy, and thanks for the little hearts. Hi, Sally. Just sprinkle me, Diane. Thank you, dear. I appreciate it so, so much. Yes, Patty, you draw this out. It's super easy. Hi, Tana. Glad you're here. Thank you, Regina, for sprinkling. You guys are amazing. Okay, so we're going to take this chalk paint and just get down a little base for this design. Um, let's see if we can do this upside down. I don't know. I'm trying to center it. 
this may I may have to turn it back toward me but it's kind of fun to challenge myself and see if I can do it so sometimes I just leave it this way on purpose just to see if I can do it because I know y'all don't mind if I turn it towards me but sometimes I'm like well let's just see if we can do it so it's okay not bad not bad in a pinch I'm gonna bring that up a little bit but I just want a base coat for my paint to stick well typically I use DecoArt multi-purpose solution and it's perfect for metal and wood I put that down let it dry usually put down two coats and let it dry and then I've not had one problem with paint peeling when I use resin it works fantastic so it's just a really good one but you know if you don't have that and you don't want to buy it then use Mod Podge use something as a sealer before you start painting so that's that and then let me go to a little smaller brush and we're gonna do something else working from home and watching great Tina hi Rochelle thank you for sprinkling thank you Jill for sprinkling y'all are awesome I, you know like I said I hate to ask but it does help so much and I just forgot to do what I am supposed to do on the back end so I'm gonna put a little circle here do y'all know what that's gonna be I'm thinking how I want this to go like so okay we're in business thank you donna y'all are so sweet thank you flowers that's right lisa you know me oh hi Teresa. we are just getting started putting a base coat on for what we're gonna paint no worries hi donna and i think i caught i'm so sorry if i haven't caught everybody i'm trying hard it would be really good if Alexa would read our comments to us, wouldn't it? I'm going to go ahead and use a heat gun and dry this out. Guys, were you guys in with, I know some of you were, I saw a lot of you at the Craft Berry Circle, I mean, Chuffed Berry Circle event this weekend. Oh my goodness, it was so good, so fun. And if you can't get inspired in that group, you can't get inspired. So many fun designs and ideas. And what's amazing is, you know, it was a winter or a, a woodland winter theme, but yet almost everybody did something totally unique. Um, you know, there were several deer in the in the woods or whatever, but even those were all unique to each crafter. So it was really a cool event, and I sure loved being a part and getting to know those ladies a little bit better. Oh, I'm so glad y'all are here. Hi, Kimberly. Glad you're here. Haven't seen you in a little bit. Hello, Cherokee. I'm glad too, Cheryl. Hi, Joan. Thank you for sprinkling, Cherokee. Okay, so let's get our get some colors down. That is good and, I mean, fire hot. This metal, wow, that got super hot. Hi, Veronica. I am so glad you had fun. I saw you a lot. It was great. I love it when I pop in and somebody will go, hey, Deb. I'm like, oh, hey, you know, I feel like that's what I love about when y'all come on here. I love seeing who's here and greeting you. And so thank y'all when you do that for me. It's fun. You've had COVID since the 23rd of, oh, bless you. Right at Christmas. I'm so, so sorry. Are you feeling a lot better? Oh, Ann, I love it when you do that. I taught Ann. I said, just put your earbuds in. They'll never know. No, don't get yourself in trouble, but I do think, you know that I think uh, these times that you can sneak away for a little break are so therapeutic. It truly, truly is therapy, and so if you can do five, ten minutes, that's fantastic and will probably make your day better. Okay, I'm going to come on in here. I actually want some white with this. Oh, I'm glad you did too, Cindy. Glad you did. I barely had time to to uh, get an email out, but I wanted to get an email out. I am really trying hard to be good this year and get my emails going out like they should. I it, what here? Let I'll tell y'all. Uh, since y'all are here and it's just us, I'll tell you what cracks me up is sometimes somebody will unsubscribe and say because I send too many. 
And y'all, I never send, I forget to send, I, I'm just terrible with email. And so I'm always like, no, that's not me because I haven't sent one since last year. <laughs> But okay, it's okay. I know that we all get too many and that's why I say I will never send more than once a week unless it's an emergency, you know, something that I really want you to know. I mean, it doesn't happen. <clears throat> so I'd love to have you guys follow me. <coughs> Excuse me, we have allergies here in Texas. Do you guys? Because uh, we never know from day to day. As you know, you see your friends and other creators who lose their pages and all that. I want to be able to get a hold of y'all or just to let you know where I am and what I'm doing and all the things if that were to happen. So I'm just taking this pretty dusty pink color and getting it on as our background for this heart. So easy peasy, you guys know you can do this. Everybody, every single live, somebody will say, I wish I could paint like you, I can't. Yes, you can, you can, I promise. We're just, you just put that mauve color on your brush. You come back with a little white and then you just brush it on like so. That's it. So yes, you can do it. It may take just a little bit of practice, but a lot of it is the brushes you choose. This is a round brush. So anytime you're doing a curved item, whether the item is curved or the heart is curved, a uh, round brush will be very helpful. Hi, Cynthia, glad you're here. Mountain Cedar, yeah, it's so bad. We've sneezed our heads off. I have. And, um, you know, my glands yesterday were so sore. Um, just, thank you, Kimberly, you're so sweet. Well, I feel so sad that you've had to deal with that. Anyway, it's been a little rough with the allergies, but it's just allergies, you know, no big deal. I'm drinking tons of water, trying to take my vitamins and stay healthy. I'm gonna put out Royal Fuchsia. That, the first one I used was Blush Pink. It's such a pretty color, I just love it. And I'm gonna use this same round brush and go into this fuchsia color and just kind of start with a base of this fuchsia. You'll see okay. As my background for these flowers. Easy flat. okay. Y'all, that's another thing people always say. I wish I could do those flowers. You can, watch this. Just color in. You're going in a round circular motion and just coloring it in. That's your base coat, okay? And then same thing on this one, just round, coloring it in. And then we will do some things to make each one of these stand out a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of greenery. Always wipe your brush off in your napkin. That will get the majority of the paint off. And then when you stick it in your water, your water doesn't get totally murky. I have to show y'all. This is sinful to use this cute cup for paintbrush water, but isn't it the cutest? Anyway, yeah. Okay, so watch for cute cups at, at yard sales and, and discount places, Goodwill. Um, yes, Patty. Patty is one of my best um, testimonials because she is just like those of you who said, oh, I can't do that. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. And she can do it. She can do anything I can do. And I'm so proud of her and all the others that are, most of them are in the VIP group that, you know, that um, have learned. But regardless of whether you are or not, I do a lot of free things on this page right here. So you can totally watch tutorials. I've got a million videos on YouTube. Not a million, but I have a lot that, you know, you can go watch. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of green and I mixed it with a little teal and I'm just gonna kind of bring in a little bit of greenery in here. Nothing fancy, just taking my brush, letting the brush do the work. And I just grabbed a brush, I'm not even, it's not even my favorite, it's just a very small kind of detailed brush. Just putting a little pop of green in here and that's it. That's all that needs right now. Um, I'm going to go back on my heart. I was waiting for it to dry and it's still a little wet. So let me pop this a second and we're going to do something pretty with our heart. Love it. Just got home from taking my mother-in-law to the doctor. Oh, and I love that. I know it's hard, y'all. Um, you know, most of you know that I helped with my mother all the last few years of her Alzheimer's. Um, and taking her to appointments, 
advocating for her with doctors and with hospitals and anywhere I needed to and I know that doing those things and those chores that you have to do are hard and taxing but I totally view it as you're serving God when you're serving people so you know try to have patience and grace with them because they cannot help it and I'm not saying your mother-in-law is that needy but it just made me gave me chills thinking about how many times I took my mom to appointments and oh my goodness get tears in my eyes okay I'm going into white I dipped it in my white so y'all see my tears Ugh. talking about my mom sometimes just brings it all right back like it was yesterday I'm going to start at the well I'll start in the middle and come right across and just do some whimsical stripes right across this heart so it's dry brushing I'm not really putting a lot of paint I'm really just dry brushing them across but again do you see how I'm letting the paintbrush do it so when y'all say oh you're so talented thank you so much for saying that but you can be too because once you learn you know so we just drug it across and made some straps we're gonna drag it across in the other direction it is rewarding it's so hard when you're in it but it truly you just look back and and just think what an honor it was to be there for them when they needed you and you may not feel that way when you're in it because it is hard but man somebody's gonna have to do those things for us someday and um, you know we need each other we need to be good to each other we need to you know do what we can oh y'all I am a little emotional today I'm so glad to be here with y'all though because when I need a, a pick-me-up uh, something's got me down then yeah every time every time I get on here with y'all I feel so much better and that is the power of a community even online community can do that y'all sorry <laughs> where is this coming from I've got some stored up emotion. <laughs> Hi, Nina. It's a good day. These are not sad tears. Oh, bless you. You're walking a little. Oh, Omi. I didn't know you had that, but I'm so glad you're doing better. Oh, my. If I did know, I've just forgotten, and that scares me so bad that I forget. So we've just got a sweet little kind of crisscross buffalo checkish heart. Nothing fancy, didn't have to use any special techniques. It's the brush that kind of does the work for you. Okay. Oh goodness sakes. Oh, thank you, Chris. You're so, so sweet. Hi, Brenda. I'm glad you are too. Okay, let's come back and do some more with these. I'm gonna now take that same pink color and we're going to make a couple of them, you know, kind of darker with that pink color. And I'm going around and I'm doing commas. And I'm going to show you on a piece of paper so that you can see a little clearer than you probably can on this. Let me just grab something here. Okay. Oh, I know. I know, Kathy. I feel the same way. That's what's got me some days you just need your mamas and um, you know if you're feeling that way or you ever feel that way you send me a message and I'm praying for you because I totally get it totally you know you think at this age we should be okay we sh you know we know they're in a better place my mom's a was a beautiful believer you know she's in heaven but we just still miss them so okay pull it together Deb pull it together y'all tell me something funny um, <laughs> Yeah, I love this community. I think so many of us women um, need to come together and we need to have a place where you feel safe and loved and and people relate whether you've lost your mother or not. Maybe you've lost a child. Maybe you're a single woman. Maybe you've lost a husband. You know, who knows? But we can all relate to each other and, and empathize and care for each other. Okay, so what I do is I've got my base color, right? You've got your base color. So that's the first step. Then you come back and in the center, you just put a couple of kind of blobby little commas is what I call them. 
and then I'm going to come back on the side of one and do that. So I press it down, curve it around, and lift it up. So really the two sides should be the skinniest and fattest in the middle. Press it down, press, 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 lift it up. Press it down, press, 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 lift it up. So do y'all see that? That's all you're doing all the way around your little circle. That is how you make these flowers. So you can no longer say that you can't do it. You can do it, I promise. Oh, see, Joan, yes, does, it just doesn't matter the age. We just miss our mamas. Okay, um, again, doing the same thing with this one. I'll do that third one a little bit different. I can go pretty quick, but you saw when I slow it down how simple it really is. Excuse me, guys. I've just got my nose running and my eyes running. And Hi, Mary. Um, are you, you're still at the doctor, hon? Uh, so, so sorry, so sorry for the sniffling. It's just totally annoying. I know that. I'm coming back around with that blush pink and I'm just randomly putting them in. I'm not watching where I'm putting them. I am not trying to watch out for anything. You know, I'm just putting them. And then I'm going to take that fuchsia with a little bit of white and kind of mix it. And then I'm going to, it's just messy on my brush, just the mix. I didn't try to do it really well and do one of these with that lots of white in it. So just so they all look just a little bit different is all I'm going for. Okay, I think we may be back in business. Dry it up, dry it up. Okay, so there's those. Oh, oh, in Virginia, that is so hard because I know y'all probably had to be apart, which is just heartbreaking. But lots of us, you know, lots of us were praying that God would be with those family members when y'all could not be. That was, I can't even tell you how much I prayed that because I could only imagine how sad that would be for me to not be able to be there. So I know he was holding them and bringing them comfort even though you know you couldn't be there he was there and he is far better comforter than we could ever be right so you know oh my goodness this is a sad one today not sad because we 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 love where there's a lot of love there's going to be a lot of sadness when we lose but but uh just pray that you guys know jesus and and um and have that hope that I have. And, and if you ever need to talk or have questions, please, please message me. Okay, I'm coming back around on here with this light and adding some of that into that dark pink one. And then I just keep doing this. I just kind of keep adding until I like the way it looks. So again, back to my pink. I'll come on here and add more pink back in. But that way I get a really good mix and lots of little kind of petals is what I call them and let's see if y'all can see that never know how to turn it hi Donna that's right and there is so much hope and something to look forward to where were the stripes in the heart dry yes just dry brush trees just dry brush them thank you Joan uh, and I'll go over one in fact I almost Let's see, let's see, where's the brush I used? Oh, Ann, thank you. Yes, I mean, yeah, y'all know I love to be there for people who need it because I know the, the hurt and the, I know how hard it is too. Um, this one I'm gonna go with white pearl. These are my two favorite, I just love these metallics. Oyster pearl, white pearl, and I just use them depending on the colors I'm using. But for this, I think the white will look super pretty. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that out. It does not take much. This would do 10 of these. I just, you know, we'll put it right back in the bottle when I'm done. But you just put a little bit on your brush. Let me just show you. I don't know if y'all can see this. But I, you know, just put a little bit, but see how little, I'm kind of spreading it out because I don't want tons. And then I'm gonna go right over some of these. I'll go right over the stripes. Okay. 
and this will wake those stripes up and make them look so pretty y'all this is such a little simple design but tell me you would not love receiving something like this or if somebody painted it on a card or uh, a little canvas you know a Dollar Tree canvas and handed it to you wouldn't you be happy so you could get those one dollar canvases and, and put one in the mailbox with a little note so you're only out a buck because you probably have the paint and then your mail carrier would just be like what I can't believe they thought of me okay let's see if we can get the light to shine on that because that metallic just makes it so pretty can y'all see it yes it, it, it exactly it's an opalescent effect it's yeah Christy me and Christy are hooked on that white pearl and probably others oh wow Veronica putting me up with Dina and Kenny that's too much thank you but wow they're amazing people I love them dearly okay thank you for saying that uh, I was watching Kenny's one of Kenny's old you know lives the other day from the prayer group he has and just just weeping you know he's got such a great heart okay so I went back in and put some turquoise you're gonna see why in a minute let's see I started at 2 15 so yeah we're doing great on time awesome now I can come in and put a few of the green into my design I was kind of waiting for to get this finished but now I can just kind of put a few here and there they don't all have to be the same so oh yeah yeah Stephanie I'm sorry uh, definitely certain things will trigger and you know if you ever have one of those days you're welcome to message me and just say please pray for me having a bad day or having a hard day that's it I don't need to know details but uh, because I totally get it you saw me I mean sometimes when you're down I think that's when that's when you know because for some of us you know we had a mom that was our biggest cheerleader and our biggest fan and so that's a big loss you know thank you Tony did I use an undercoat Kimberly I typically use the deco art multi-purpose sealer but I left it in the other room so I just used chalk paint I grabbed my folk art chalk paint this is a really good color it's I guess I don't know how to say it toile y'all tell me toile y'all um, but that's what I used as my base just to give it some tooth to stick I had sanded this down because I always paint on these so I will sand this off and paint something else next so maybe it'll be a shamrock I don't know what's next but you know uh, just keep on sanding and painting more thank you Carol so so easy but here's where we're gonna make it even prettier I want to be sure we get time to use some of the stuff that I just bought that's so cute yes Joan yes oh Michelle I'm so so sorry and I know that's even a different kind of pain that you go through and um, I've known friends who've had that happen and I know that's a horrible thing to have to go through I'm so so sorry lots of prayers for you guys and um, and I'll go back and write all these down it, it just really you need people praying for you so um, ah, ah, goodness thank you Jill okay let's add embellishments I've got my little back box of tricks here and I didn't know I don't have what I'm gonna put in here but I always put some flowers or you know tall some things kind of coming up out of the can it has a lid but I just think it's pretty to put things in so picture some things coming up out of it but you know for example picture all of that coming up out of it will be pretty but I might add just a little bit somewhere on the side but I have all kind of fun things to play with and I thought we might look at this is this not the prettiest ribbon you've ever seen this is like chiffon and when you feel it you think about like your mom's old slip or I don't know what chiffon was used for because we don't I don't feel like we use it now but oh it's so soft and pretty so that's what I wanted to use on this we're making this old rusty galvanized you know gas can into something gorgeous 
So, yes, thank y'all for lifting her up. Thank y'all, thank y'all. So we're going to go ahead and make just a simple little bow. Not even really bow. I think we'll just do, let me think what will be the cutest. Um, it might be cute just to have it hanging. I have an idea. Okay, I just got inspired. I don't know where this came from, but I'm going to try it. So wish me luck. I'm going to have to order more of this. I got it on Amazon, um, and it's not cheap. That's the thing. I'm going to have to try to find it. It came in a set of three, but when I opened the box, this one, I just was like, oh, that is so mean. And don't tell Dina, but I sent her some because I think it looks so her, right? It's just her colors, and they're my colors too. I love this. So, um, yeah. I thought she needed some too. Okay, let me just put a few of those. Now, let's see. Y'all see the, the little space I'm working on here? It's just crazy tiny, but we're gonna make it work. We can make it work. And then I've got pit berries that came in. I got to replenish some stock and I it's like Christmas when this box came I was like, oh my goodness so fun to get new craft supplies and I feel the same when I get new paint it's like Christmas isn't it pretty Tony thank you Luana you're awesome you guys are just the best and I love seeing you other places you know we all kind of go around as much as we can I mean try not to use my scissors I'm real bad about that uh, so I love seeing y'all other places too I know you're not just mine okay so pit berries in here uh, I have I thought these were gonna be a little too bright I didn't mean I didn't know they were this bright when I bought them yes Lisa it is you know what I'm talking about so did you have fun at your event Lisa you did such a good job with your project. And did you see that somebody mentioned it looked like a cake? And when she said that, I was like, oh my gosh, that's perfect for a cake. So that's a whole nother use people could do with it, you know, like give it to somebody for their birthday. If you don't know what I'm talking about, y'all need to get inside my free group, the Art and Craft Showcase. See, I don't think I like those turquoise. If I had more turquoise in, well, Eh, I don't think so. I don't know. What do y'all think? I, it's just more green than turquoise, so I may not use those. But I was hoping they would go with this. But I'll kind of watch for what y'all say. But I've got these that will work. I have some of this that came in. All of this that I'm showing you came from Factory Direct Craft. I order from them. Uh, I watch them a lot and order when I think it's a good price. Some of their stuff is higher than it should be. You can get it cheaper other places. So I kind of watch and see. Hi, thank you guys for welcoming each other. You think you, did y'all like it? You like the turquoise? Y'all tell me real quick, I've got the green too. This one I use a lot and I hated to buy it from there but sometimes hobby or sometimes uh, Dollar Tree doesn't have it. But if your Dollar Tree has these, you've got to stock up. It's so much cheaper than buying them at like what I did. And because I can't get into that, I'm going to go on to the next. I've got some of that. How about either this one or white? This lace just came from Amazon. Yeah, white. Okay, let's kind of put some of this together and see what we think. That's about all that I thought would work on here out of my little bucket. Some of that's older stuff. It's not new. Yeah, that green is, this is perfect for spring. And it feels like spring here in Texas. It's beautiful today. We've had so much good weather. And then when I see other places, I feel bad, but... Trust me, when it's 110, you won't be jealous. It's 
pretty darn miserable here in the summers. But you can't even go outside without feeling like your face is burning off. Well, there we go. I went into it the wrong way. They are so pretty, aren't they? I think together, I think we might be in business. And y'all tell me, do you like the turquoise or not? Was it too turquoise? You know, let me know. You guys remember Jen with Home Sweet Create? She's moving today, and I know she would appreciate your prayers for everything to go smoothly. You know how stressful moving is, and it's hard. You're, you're tired. You're stressed. Usually something doesn't go right. Something gets broken, whatever. So I know she would appreciate that. Continue to lift up Wendy. I just, there's so many things going on. We all saw the good news on Damar, which was just, oh, the whole, it's like the whole country is celebrating that. Okay. I'm going to move this out of my way for one second and try to form a little, but what I'm thinking is, what I'm kind of picturing is more like a tassel instead of like a bow. So if we just kind of layer things, let's see if we can make that work. That's going to be, yeah, that'll be too short. And Hold, please. Oh, guys, for you guys that follow me regularly and you hear me talk about my son and his girlfriend all the time, they are having their fifth year anniversary and are taking a trip. They just landed. Hopefully, I haven't heard from them, but maybe after the live, um, landed where they are going. So happy for them. Happy, happy. Okay. Turquoise, you like, oh, no turquoise, and then I see turquoise. Love the turquoise, no turquoise. <laughs> no, see, it's back and forth. Oh, dear. <laughs> Hi, Patty. Glad you're here, dear. I saw you earlier somewhere. I don't remember where we were, but I love seeing everybody everywhere. We have so much great support from you guys, and it just means everything to us. Okay, so let's quickly, I know I feel my time seven minutes is that right okay we could use this to hang this with so i'm gonna i'm gonna try it so for now i'm just gonna barely twist that and see how we like it okay and then i'm going to gather this and i think i'm going to use a little piece of this or maybe a long piece of this i think i'll do little let's see and gather it like a tassel would be. This will kind of give it almost a little boho feel having this hanging down. Y'all let me know what you're thinking. If you're like, oh no, say it quick. Or forever hold your peace. So I know that this chiffon is kind of taken over so we'll just be able to adjust and pull some things out where we want them to show. You can always, I can go back and put more in if I need to, but you know, you can just play with it and kind of get it how you like it. You like it, Lisa? Thanks. You like it, Patty? Good. I'm glad. Hi, Rowena Made Inspired. How are you today? Thank you, Nelda, you sweet lady. I do too, Stephanie. I keep hoping, well, I keep hoping, pull out the ring. I can't say this because they'll get so mad. No, they won't get mad. Austin will get mad, but it's like, you're never going to have enough money. Just do it. <laughs> okay. So, you see the, the what I'm going for here? I don't know that I want that... I may, I may actually cut this totally short and just have a little knot there. But you know, at 32, 32 years old, 31, you can't, what can I do? I just can't, I just 
got to stay silent. I know some of y'all feel my pain. And I'm just going to twist this little pit berry around. So it just kind of, so easy removal if I want to do something else with it or want to take it off. What do y'all think? Does it need the aqua? And I might cut them shorter, but if it sat on a little, you know, kind of pedestal type thing, you know what I'm talking about, a riser, this would actually be cute kind of hanging off. So I'll kind of wait to see what I do with it. But should we line the heart? That's the only other thing we have. Oh, we've got time. Yes, let's line it. Let's line the heart because that will make it pop. Also, I have time. I'm so glad I have time to show y'all how to do highlights and a little shading. Hang it on the handle. It covers. Oh, yeah. I see what you're saying. So over here. Oh, aren't you smart? Yes. Good eye. Good eye. Good eye. Perfect. That is so much better because this already has the flowers on that side. So this needs something anyway. Let me be careful and not get it in the paint. So yeah, I'll just hang that down and whatever. There. Oh, that was so smart of you. Thank you for helping me. Usually after the live, I'll kind of think, oh, I should have done this or that. Thanks, Sally. I'm glad y'all like it. Okay. Let me move this ribbon. It's so pretty. I'll show y'all the other ones too. I've got plenty of time here. So these are the other two that came. Isn't that gorgeous? And this one is just, it's okay. I love it, but it's not like that aqua. This one is just, oh, I just love it. But you can stick some little flowers in here too. Just whatever you want to do. So let's do a quick highlight. I need a white. Good. I'm glad y'all like it. Sometimes the ideas in my head, you know, I was like, I don't know if this is going to look good on this metal, but I'm going to try because I think it'll be cute personally. Grab a little detail brush, anything very thin. These are my favorites. If you ever want to know what I'm using, because I know I go fast on these 45 minute ones. But if you ever want to know what I'm using, I've got just about everything I use and love in my Amazon storefront. But I'm going to come across the tops of each little thing. So just across the top, just a whimsical little stripe. You see how quick you can do it. You don't have to overthink it. If it breaks and it doesn't go the whole way, that's totally fine because this is just whimsical. And then I'm going to put some of these into the flowers. And you see how that just kind of perked it up. Can y'all tell the white just kind of pops against the color? Hi, Maddie, the Crafty Farm Girl. How are you today? I still have not had time to go watch your video. You said that. So Maddie is having a craft retreat. Maddie, tell us about it because I don't want to, to get it wrong or give any information you don't want out yet. <laughs> I'm excited for you, sister. And then I'm actually going to use some Poetic Plum to do my shading. So rather than black on this, I'm going to put a pretty darker pink color. 37. I know you're right. You're right, Carly. And I'm, I'm trying to do better. Um, it, you know, things are so different than, than the way we, well, I'll just kind of, things are so different. And when you have grown kids, it's just, yeah, you don't have any say anymore. You know, it's just no say anyway. Um, okay. I'm going to put a little bit of this darker in the center. Typically, flowers are darker in the center, but I'm telling you, these are whimsical, so I don't care. Like, they don't all have to be. You know, I'm just kind of having fun, putting little touches here and there. And then you can line your little heart. This is going to be a, a, a whimsical line. It will not be, you know, solid. I don't really want a solid one on something like this. I just want whimsical and fun. Okay, so see, that just kind of sets it all out there and kind of gives it a, a nice, I like it. What do y'all think? Wow, Maddie, you've got a lot. That's cool. A, a masquerade ball? Wow. Thank you, Joan. I am going to use black on my leaves or these are you know whimsical leaves not 
but just put a little black on the opposite side of my white so it's considered shading but just easy peasy so I want you to tell me if you've watched this and you're like okay I think I could do it let me know I hope there's nobody that's still thinking well I couldn't do it because you can see those up close Oh, thank you, Nelda. I do too. The turquoise. Okay, let's take a look. We've, we've, we're, time's up, time's up. So, you guys, be sure and go up to the link in the description of this video. You can go watch the next crafter who's with Craft Around the Clock. Thank you for being here for me today. I appreciate every one of you. I will be back here Wednesday, 12 something. I can't remember, 1245 maybe, but I'll put a, I'll put a note out. Guys, have a great day. Thank you again for being here. Love you all. Bye-bye.